Hello, and welcome back to Modded 360's and you. My name is Jeff, and in this training video, we're going to be giving your console a bit more of that modded feeling by installing a custom dashboard known as Aurora. As always, be sure to grab your disc with all the files required, as it would be quite difficult to install Aurora without them. Once you have the files downloaded and transferred to a USB, plug them into your console, and head on over to XEX menu. From there, press right on the D-pad to go over to the USB, and press Y on the Aurora folder. Copy the folder, and paste it into the homebrew folder you created on HDD1. Once that's complete, go on ahead and open the Aurora folder and launch the aurora.xex file. When first entering Aurora, you'll notice that there's nothing on the home screen. To remedy this, press the back button and open File Manager. From here, navigate down to HCD1 and click on the new directory icon located on the left. Title this folder Games, or whatever you prefer. Then copy whatever games you currently have on the hard drive and paste them within the Games folder. Once that's complete, navigate back to the root of HDD1 and delete whatever original copies of the games you have, as there's no reason to have two versions of the game on the same hard drive. Once that's complete, head back to the main screen and press Start, then go down to Content and click Add under Manage Path. You're going to want to set one of these up for the Homebrew folder as well as the Games folder you just created. Select the destination folder you wish to add by pressing Y in the drop-down list and change the scan depth to about 2 or 3. The depth will dictate how deep within a given directory Aurora will scan for an available XEX file. Once complete, click Save and you should now see all of your available Homebrew and games on the dashboard. If you set up Dash Launch and are connected to the internet, it'll even download the cover arts. In the event that it doesn't, you can press Start and then go to the Assets and select Download. So you got the games, but what about updates? Don't worry, Aurora's got you covered. Simply press Start and then navigate to the Profiles section. You'll see an area labeled Unity Connection. This is how you can download and install title updates for your games using Aurora. To create a Unity profile, head on to xboxunity.net and then click Register. Enter in a username, an email, and a password, and then click Send. You should then get an email within your inbox requiring some sort of activation. Simply click on the activation link and it will bring you back to the Unity website telling you that your account has been successfully activated. Then simply check the box enabling the Unity connection and enter in your username. Then click request under the API key and enter in your password. If everything goes according to plan, the API key should be filled with a bunch of numbers and letters. Now hover over the title you wish to update and press Y, then click on the title updates button. Pressing the right bumper will display all currently available title updates within the Unity marketplace. Simply select the one that you wish to install and it should begin to download. Once downloaded, press the left bumper in order to display all currently installed title updates and select the one you wish to activate by pressing A. You'll know that it's active when the console icon is filled in instead of just being an outline. You can customize the home screen by pressing the B button and then going down to Theme. Checking the button that says Override Defaults within Animation will allow you to configure the colored background on the home screen. You can download custom skins and change them via the skin section within the customization menu. Checking the alternative splash screen under the options will greet you with a gray splash screen instead of a white one when booting into Aurora. From here you may want to set Aurora as the default dashboard for your modded console. To do this, open Dash Launch and then navigate to the Paths tab. From here, you'll want to set the Aurora.xex as the default path. That way, whenever the console is booted, it'll boot directly into Aurora. When complete, be sure to save your settings within HDD1 by pressing X. Now, whenever you return to the home screen, it should boot you into Aurora instead of the default Xbox 360 dashboard. Now that should just about cover the basics for Aurora. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Modded 360's and you, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one where we'll cover a piece of software used for unlocking Xbox Live content. See you in the next one, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.